Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Bull Slavin. Welcome to UNCP Athletics. I'm gonna show you around our crib. So, first up, Dobbs Lobby here in the Jones Center, English E. Jones Center. All around, we got our graphics to kind of show the history of UNCP Athletics and all of our championships and kind of the history and how it all started going from NAIA back in the 1970s, pre-1970s, all the way up to today with 2018 with men's basketball winning their second back-to-back uh, -back Beach Belt Conference Championship last year. We want to keep going. Take you in as you keep walking on. We got our trophy case here. It's got all of our trophies, all of our recognitions from the Peach Belt Conference, going back to the NCAA championships, NAIA awards, you name it, all of our history right here in the trophy case, all the individual awards and scholarships uh, from SunTrust and the Peach Belt. You got them all here. All the history, all the national championship, championship runner up, including most recently with our wrestlers with Daniel OMB and stuff like that. Pretty cool, right? All the history. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Head on ahead here, we're gonna go into the uh, Lumbee Guarantee Bank Court. Home of basketball, volleyball, women's basketball. All of it goes down in here, as well as wrestling too. All of them have their photos up around the gym so that you know what each home of along the wall. All the conference, Peach Belt Conference flags and banners run up across the, across the top of the gym. And then followed on the back wall above where the band sits for basketball season, all of our championships dating back to when we were part of the Conference Carolinas. And then most recently with the Peach Belt Conference Championship. We have some new ones to add with basketball winning again last year going back to back. But uh, we'll release that with Moonlight Madness. So we're gonna keep moving again. That's Lumbee Guarantee Bank Court. That's our first athletic facility that we're gonna show you today, but we're just getting started. We got a lot more. All right, so we're gonna keep moving here. Here, you're still in the English E. Jones Center. You got all the coaches' offices up and down the main hallway here. Coaches, you knock on the door and say, hey. Hey, y'all. So we're gonna keep moving. You got volleyball here. Back to the main hall, all the team photos are up all along the Jones Center so that you can figure out who everybody is. Hey, all those team photos, pretty cool for this year. We'll keep moving. Got to know who our athletes are. More of our trophies from dating back in the day, the ones that don't relate to uh, NCAA or uh, Peach Belt Conference or Conference Championships. These are more of those individual tournament awards that our teams win. So when our cross country or track or cheer or any of them go play and they bring home a trophy, which we like to do here at Pembroke, uh, we'll put their, case, their trophy in that case there. All American TV and accolades, so all of our listings for academics, all Americans, their names rotate at all times on those on those video boards uh, in the hallway. All right, so that's right here is the Ortho Carolina athletic training room, and in there you got you know hot tub, cold tub, therapy pool, um, stem, uh, heat packs, cold packs. Um, I don't even know uh, ultrasound. You name it, they got it. It's one of the top D2 facilities that you can go to. Definitely one of the best in the Peach Ball Conference, and that's coming from a former baseball player. Again, more coaches' offices. All the coach offices are labeled by these decals here. I gotta give baseball some love as a former baseball player, right? But every office, you'll know which coach is where based off these decals made by our very own Lamar Corman. We're gonna keep moving. You got your basketball suite here. We got Adam Gilson here. This dude's the man right here. Gotta give him some love. They got it set up for all their recruiting again. They're back to back Peach Belt Conference champions. The men's are, the women's team making big strides in the conference over the past couple of years. We got our two coaches right here Coach Ben, hey. Coach Drew. Go we're just showing them around the crib. We got to make sure we include y'all. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep on. We're going to check out our athlete weight room. 
All right, so we're gonna head in here. This is the athlete's weight room. We got a couple people working out right now. It's gonna be real loud, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me. All right, so this is the athlete's weight room. We got another one over at football that our baseball team and football team and stuff like that will use, but for our smaller teams like volleyball, uh, cross country, stuff like that, they'll lift over here. You got full dumbbell, all free weights. Um, you got your squat rack and everything like that set up in the middle. That's our head strength coach right there. That's Coach Joey Hannett in the white shirt. Dude's a beast. All right, so that's the athlete weight room. So we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna head on over to football. A bunch to do here on campus. A lot of sports in action. All 16 varsity sports here at Pembroke. All of them compete in Division II. Um, split between a couple different conferences. We got Peach Belt Conference. Uh, our, a couple of our teams are going to be joining the Mountain East. You're in for a special treat though, about to run into a legend here on campus. Look at this legend right here. Look at this. You're about to run into a legend right here. It's TYS all time leading sack leader right here. How you doing? Single in career. We're showing him around the crib, so. It's a rare sighting right there. All right, so we're gonna head on across the street from the English T. Jones Center. We're gonna go check out the football field. You got the uh, Caton Fieldhouse, Bob Caton Fieldhouse, and then Grace P. Johnson Stadium. That's where the football happens, where the magic happens, as well as uh, the Taylor Track, which is where our track team competes. Normally hosts one or two meets a year, um, and they're pretty, they're pretty good as well, so. All right, so we're coming up to the Bob Caton Fieldhouse. This is where the football offices are. Uh, football team, everything they need is over here. They have their own uh, mini training room for game days. They got a uh, small kitchen in here, weight room, coaches' offices, their locker room, they got it all. All right, so we're in the uh, Bob Caton Fieldhouse here, home of UNCP football. And uh, it's a little bit quiet in here today because we are getting ready for game day. Uh, Wingate tonight at 7 p.m. So make sure you come out and join us. But we're gonna take you around real quick. So first things first, we got the coaching offices here. Um, all of our coaches are located right here, right in the front. Everybody you need. Everybody, like I said, it's hard at work right now trying to get ready for uh, for Wingate. As you move down here, we got our, our All-American wall and kind of our division um, NCAA playoff wall. So those teams that have made the NCAA playoffs um, are up on this wall, as well as all of our All-Americans that are tracing down, dating back to uh, 2007. Um, all the way up until this past year. We got some uh, new decals up above entering their weight room here with uh, some of our alumni, some of our key alumni from the past year. But this is their weight room right here. They can come work out pretty much anytime they want. And here they got basically everything they need. Same thing, they got the squat racks, um, pull up bars that are attached to it, uh, hanging leg raises, they have the treadmills, uh, dumbbell racks on the far side, punchy bag for those guys that need to get some frustration out but everything they need to do to get a quality workout in before a game is in here. All right, so we're gonna keep going. They got their equipment room in here, all their good stuff in there. Uh, it's locked up right now, so we're not gonna be able to get in there, but all their helmets, gloves, uh, spikes, anything they need like that for game day is in there. We're gonna head in here into the team locker room. They got their laundry facility here as well, um, but we'll head on in here to the team locker room. All right, so around the team locker room, kind of all their big mottos are around the walls, commitment to excellence, character, some of these things that Coach Richardson and the uh, coaching staff preach. Um, got some brand new TVs in here, nice and big, so these guys know we got the game clock up top so they can stay in track with games. And we got that big Braveshead logo in the center of the floor. Kind of represent what we're all about here at Pembroke. All the players have their own locker. They got their helmets in it. Uh, this year, they're repping the special. Um, they got repping their special one Carolina helmet decal, as well as uh, the JN initials for Sergeant James Nolan, who they represent on Military Appreciation Night, that first game of the year. All the whole team's wearing those stickers this year, um, so that we can support our community as well as our military that we love and support so much. So uh, we're gonna keep moving around here. Again, we got those decals up on the wall, the positive energy. Uh, everybody spikes, everything's nice and cleaned up. Trying to keep everything neat, night, nice, neat, and tidy. Make sure you touch on the way out. 
All right, so now we're out here at Grace P. Johnson Stadium. They walk right out. There's normally a big tunnel and everything up for game day so that these guys are nice and hidden. We have a gorgeous facility here at Grace P. Johnson Stadium. You got your main grandstand up on the left with the big press box. To the right, all of our visitors seating and general admission seating is on the right hand side if we're facing this way. You got all of your sponsors and everything like that moving around and then our big new addition this year is that big old Jumbotron over there by Dactronics. That thing is sweet on game day. If you haven't gotten to experience that yet, you're gonna wanna join us tonight because that thing will blow you away. Hey, thanks for joining us here in Pembroke. We're glad to have you here in Brave Nation. Look forward to seeing you tonight at game day, but uh, that was our crib. We'll see you next time.